This unbelievable run of championship sackings continues as Chris Wilder parts company with Middlesbrough. We'll get across Wilder in just a minute, but for those keeping score, the list of managers to leave championship jobs this season now reads Rob Edwards, Alex Neal, Paul Warren, Michael O'Neill, Steve Morrison, Shutter Arvelaza, Danny Schofield, and now Chris Wilder. Get your thoughts in via the comments. Let's head straight to the Borough website where a very short statement simply explains that Middlesbrough Football Club have terminated the contract of manager Chris Wilder with immediate effect and that Lee Perkovic Persevich will be in temporary charge. Wilder arrived at Borough to replace Neil Warnock in early November last year after an incredible run as Sheffield United manager. At his hometown club, Wilder had himself as one of the most highly rated managers in the entire country, taking them from spinning their wheels in League One into the Championship to automatic promotion up into the Premier League and then a ninth place finish in the top division. Not only was it a meteoric rise, but it was predicated on some brilliant tactical innovation using centre-backs for wide overloads when building attacking phases of play. Things didn't end greatly for Wilder with the Blaze, but my assumption there was that the whirlwind nature of the rise up the leagues meant that that type of drop-off was likely at some point, and he would then go again at another club. So far, I've been wrong about that, and the questions will understandably be asked as to whether Sheffield United will turn out to be the peak for Chris Wilder. Now, hopefully this isn't the peak of this video, but just in case it is, now might be a good time to hit the like button and support the channel. Now, pre-Wilder last season, Borough hit 22 points from the first 17 games at 1.29 points per game. The remaining 29 games saw 48 points incoming, a jump of 1.65 points per game. So that number across the entire season would have secured playoff football in the championship. It looked as though the foundations had been laid to do just that this season, as the flaws in Wilder's side appeared to have been dealt with in the summer transfer market. Borough cashed in on Jed Spence and a whole slew of viable looking championship faces arrived. Force, Clark, Lenihan, Moer, Muniz and Giles added to a squad containing a player in Eyeside Jones with the potential to be one of the best in the entire league. Despite the seemingly obvious improvements to the squad this season, Borough have seemed to show exactly the same weaknesses as last season. Some lovely football played at times, underlying numbers very good, but not a winning team. And both penalty boxes seem to show quite a large underperformance. As a fan of Wilder, with an eye on the data, I've been very much in the this will turn at some point territory, but it just clearly hasn't. And that decision to take out those two star wingbacks for the defeat at bottom of the table, Coventry, was one that didn't really pass the smell test this weekend. Whether there's something going on in the background or not, I don't know. Throughout this last international break, there were regular links to Wilder and the Bournemouth job vacated by Scott Parker. That job is still up for grabs and again, I'm speculating, but if the chance to go to the Premier League again has turned his head, that would obviously be a factor on both this decision to get rid and the team's poor form. We also know one of Wilder's big strengths when things are going right is his spiky, blunt, confrontational manner. We know that sometimes that strength can turn well into something else when things are not going so well. I guess my reaction is not one of surprise on the basis of the league position, the form and the possibilities that it's become a bit tetchy there. I can't be wise after the event though and if you told me a day before the season started Wilder would be out of Borough by round 12 I would have been massively shocked. Other than the parachute teams Borough would be considered one of the best jobs in the league given the size, the support, the owner and that lovely lump of cash that came in for Jed Spence. I'm sure there'll be no shortage of names linked for that reason. Quick Google right now has recently sacked Watford boss Rob Edwards being mentioned, Carlos Corberon, as well as Scott Parker in what could be one of those 
weird, kerbishly pardew, job swap type situations. Get your thoughts in via the comments. What the hell has gone wrong for Chris Wilder here? The fit looked fine. Where does he end up next and who next for Borough? Look, I'm not gonna plug a single video here to end this show, but my breaking news playlist can be found right here. I'm trying to keep up and hopefully you can hear about every managerial change right there.